All right, it's December. Um, it got really, really cold here in Kentucky. Uh, me and my son are getting ready to head out. Just got him off the school bus. We're going over to um, private property that we're allowed to hunt. Uh, big thank you to, you know, the Ch Mr. Churchman. Um, and Mr. Churchman and his family for allowing us to hunt over there. Dominic, he's, he's getting his clothes changed real quick. We're getting ready to hit the woods. We'll see you guys here in a second with Dominic. And uh, we really think today's the day we, that we've been stuck. We've been, this is the spot. This is the spot. All right. Um, we, we just got to hurry there. Got to get there safely. Get in the stand. Do everything safely. Right, son? Yep. Safe, safety's number. What's rule number one? Safety. What's rule number two? Um, rule number one is safety, he said. Rule number two is have? Have fun. Have fun, that's right. What's rule number three? Learn. Is learn. So, safety, have fun, and learn while we're out there hunting, okay? So you see, I got Dominic. He's finally in his hunting clothes. Dominic, say what's up to the camera. Hey, guys. Hey, son, you have a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah? How much, how much hunting clothes did you have to put on right now? <laughs> two pairs of sweats. I put on two pieces of thin warm pants. Yeah. Are, are, they were old army, are army long johns? Yeah. Double layer. Yeah. Good ones. And then I got um, one um, army layer uh, thin shirt. And I got my hunting camo sweater and my big hunting pants uh, and hey, boots. You're basically saying that you have a lot of clothes on, huh? Yeah. Why do you have a lot of clothes on? Because it's going to be really cold. Yes, it is freezing out. And hopefully these deer are, should be moving, right? Yeah. How, how many deer did we see last time? We saw six deer. That's right. And we had the safety off, huh? We were waiting for that one just to make one more step. And, but he did it. He turned around. He, he spotted us, huh? Yeah. Oh, but, uh, hey, we're going to get back out there and try our best. Um, we're only minutes away from our spot. We're going to get out. And, oh, Dominic, I forgot to tell you. What? I got you something today. Here you go. He said his cheeks were warm. Her cheeks were a little cold. So, yep, just like that. Now you got extra space, huh? Mm -hmm. For your eyes and nose. And then you'll put this one over the top so everybody can still see your hunting orange, okay? Mm -hmm. And it'll also keep you extra warm on your head. All right, son? Okay. You like it? Yeah. High five, Dad. All right, let's get out to these woods and... Let's hopefully let's let's try our hardest tonight, buddy. No guarantees, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it all we can, and we're gonna uh, pray like we always do. We'll pray yeah. to the good Lord, and and hopefully He'll allow us to harvest the deer today. Okay. Okay. All right. Tell him we'll see you here in a moment, and give him the bam. The phone is shaking. What just happened? Those two does, they walked up. I had a straight shot. I aimed very quietly and shot. And I think we... I hit it. You think you hit it? Let the deer 
say it to the Lord. Thank you for everything that you let us done. Thank you for letting us have a deer that we get to harvest. Thank you for letting us see a deer. Thank you for letting me be, be able to sh at least shoot one. Deer down in Kentucky. Let's uh, let this deer relax before we go f try to track it down, okay? Sound good? I climbed down from the tree stand. Now we have to go over to the area that, that I shot the deer. We have to try to find the arrow so that we could possibly find the deer. Very proud of you. Son, I'm very proud of you. I'm, I'm really proud of myself too. It's been a long season and you finally got one, huh? Yeah. Now, let's make sure our hat is on good. Okay, we'll go find the arrow, and then we'll go put our stuff away at the truck and get our vest on since we're going to be trying to find a deer, okay? okay. Get our vest, flashlight, and rope, okay? okay. And then we'll start do tracking it, okay? But let's go see if we can find this arrow, all right? Okay. I need you to find it all by yourself, though. I'm not, You shot the deer, and let's... Uh, now the hard work begins, okay? Okay. All right. Let's go try to find the arrow, guys. Hey, Dominic, let's pretend you're the deer. It should be right there, right? So start looking to your left on the ground. Should be anywhere to your left. Found it. You, what? Found it. You did? Yeah. Well, where is it at? It's I right don't know. Went straight through the deer's body. What'd you say? The arrow went straight through the deer's body. Well, how do you know that? There's blood all over it. Oh, Dominic. Oh, dude. Look, Dominic, get down here. All right, son. So we found the arrow, okay? Yeah. We're not going to touch it or anything yet, okay? Until we put all of our stuff away and get our vest and everything on, then we'll track it. But when we first look at the arrow, what do we see right away? There's a bunch of blood all over it because the arrow went straight through the body. Yeah? And what else do we see on the arrow? There's a bunch of hair on it, and on the white parts, there's red all over it. Let's, um, oh, dude. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, this there's definitely a... hair and some, um, some, uh, uh we're going to call it jello, okay? <laughs> we're going to call it jello. There's definitely some red and some jello or some some jello on there and some hair. All right, so let's yeah. uh, let's go put our stuff away, get our vest on, and let's try to find the steer, son. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We're 50 yards away from the tree stand, and we're tracking the blood, and we're st we still are. This tracking is pretty fun. We're tracking the blood and trying to find out where my deer is. Keep going. Dad, Dad camera. Dad, the deer's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I actually got a deer. Dominic. I, f I found the deer. How do you feel? Amazed. What? You feel amazed? Yeah. Why? I've, I've, never, I've never shot a deer and I've never actually followed a blood trail and ended up finding my own deer. And you did it, huh? Yeah.
it's been a lot a lot of hard work this season. I I'm I was finally successful on getting it here this year. Go over to it, son. What you think, dude? <laughs> just really amazing. Just just thank you, Lord, for letting me be being able to get it here. Thank you for this meat. Thank you for letting me being able to see it here and being able to shoot one. And thank you for everything that you've done for us. That's right. What you got there, boy? You got a deer that I shot. I got a buck, but it didn't have any antlers. Um, I got a button buck. I gotta finish dragging him to the truck. Let's load it up and then get some dinner, Dad. Thank you to the Lord up above for letting me harvest this deer. Kentucky 2019 button buck. Wow, Dominic, what do you think about that hunt? It was really amazing and fun, tracking the blood and end up getting to see the deer and being able to actually see a deer and being able to shoot a deer. That's right, son. I'm telling you, it, we what were, we were at that spot for three days, Dominic. We're three days. We hunted hard, didn't we? Yeah. We we hunted very hard, and gratefully for the grace of God, on the third day, we got a deer. That deer came in perfectly. We heard it, right? We heard yeah. him. You heard the deer, and next thing you know, he looked over. And I'm like, there it is, Dominic. And then it it, it started creeping. Start creeping, right? Yeah. And then it got to um, got to like the edge of where we could possibly shoot. And then I was like, oh, he looked away. And when he looked away, what did you have to do? I aimed, or I got up, I aimed, and I shot. Yep, you shot, and it was it was a really good ethical shot, and. You can't complain, can you? When the yeah. deer only ran about what sixty yards from where we, sh where yeah. you shot the deer, yeah. so that was a very good ethical shot, Dominic. And that's what you want to do on when you're hunting is you want to make good shots, okay, son? Yeah. All right, man. We we dragging them out. That was a chore, wasn't it? Yeah. It was pretty heavy. So at first, right, guys? At first. We went up to the deer, and even when it was in front of us, when he was getting ready to shoot it, that deer, it was a... Uh, it, it was a doe until we flipped it over and started to uh, what? We had to, um, what's that called? We had to gut the deer. Yep, we had to gut the deer, and when we flipped it over, what did we see down below? We Some two big old... Balls. <laughs> That's right, two big <laughs> balls. <laughs> so uh, we, we seen that, and Dominic goes, oh, "It's a buck, Dad! It's a buck!" I go, "Go check the head! Go check the head!" He checked the head, and what did you find? I found two little bitty spikes, about um, so really close to being um, coming out of the skin. Man, it was. It's definitely a button buck. Oh, it's his first deer is also a buck. <laughs> wow, yeah. man. Oh man, this yeah. is the the smile on your face, the smile on my face. This is just awesome, isn't it, son? Yeah. Did you have fun? A lot of fun. This whole hunting season's been great, isn't it? Yeah. Spent a lot of time together and having fun, exploring, learning new things. Yeah. And today we're successful. Every day we're successful. 
But today we were successful in harvesting the deer because yep. every day, as long as we learn, that's successful, right? Yep. Amen. Well, uh, I hope everybody had a good time. I know Dominic the Little O, he sure had a good time. Now that is what we call a 2019 Kentucky buck for a first ever for the youth right there. Yeah. It's first ever buck. I'm proud of you, son. Yeah, bud. Till next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O and... The Little O. Y'all have a good one. Give them the bam. Bam.